Hi everyone, this is Bob Burke, and uh, I thought I would uh, make a quick video to talk about the controller for the new DJI Phantom 3 SE. Um, I don't know uh, if other remotes are similar to this setup like this, uh, but I know for me anyway. Um, yeah, I've been so far. I've been flying in beginner mode, um, but I had started to want to explore things like. Um, points of interest, waypoints, follow me, those kinds of things. And I couldn't figure out how to do that um, within the app. Um, there was just no way to get it to do it. Well, the first thing I discovered is that um, you can't be in beginner mode basically and get to those uh, other functions. You have to turn beginner mode off. Once you've done that, you also have to go into the setting, which is if you go up to the three dots in the upper uh, right hand corner, you click on the icon for the drone, um, you're going to see this box right here, um, and that's if it's not enabled when you turn um, beginner mode off, uh, you'll want to enable this right here, um, which is the this PAF, um, because that's what will enable you to eventually get to uh, those other modes. And so I want to take a minute and I want to explain what happens when you enable this. But I also want to point out, if you look at this uh, graphic right here, you're going to see it shows the, the PAF switch, but it seems to be pointing to the left-hand side of the controller. Yet the switch on the SE controller is actually the one on the right-hand side. So I don't want you guys to get confused by that. I certainly did. And it took a visit to DJI's website to really dig in and figure out what's going on here. So once you've turned uh, the beginner mode off and once you've made sure this PAF mode is turned on, then you're going to pay a trip to the actual toggle in the upper right hand corner. And I, by default, I had mine set to the center. And um, it turns out that normally you're probably going to have this in the up position. That one is the one that enables GPS function, the vision um, guidance that is on the SC, and I believe it's on the Pro and, and maybe even the Advanced. Um, but having it in the upper position, you're going to see, or you should see on the app, GPS is enabled, it's going to be a green bar. If you set this to the center position, it's basically turning those features off. And it's going to come up and it's going to say red, and it's going to say um, that you're in um, attitude mode, or it's going to say ATT. And basically what this is doing is it's turning off GPS, it's turning off the vision posi positioning, and you might want to use that um, in places where GPS is really bad, um, places where uh, there might be some kind of interference that would interfere with GPS, um, where you maybe need to manually guide it and not trust GPS. Um, if you're using it indoors, things like that, there might be a reason why you put it on that. But the really fun one is if you flip this down to the bottom position, to the, like the function position, that's where you're going to get all your additional modes. And when you flip it to this bottom position, now you're going to see on the tablet, on your home screen, um, on the bottom left-hand corner, now you're going to see this icon, uh, the drone icon. And when you click on it, you're going to get this. And this is where you know the fun starts. Now you can see all of your modes in here. Um, you've got your waypoints and you've got your... Um, follow me and you've got your points of interest. Um, and that stuff's really fun and it's really useful. Um, but it took some digging to figure out how to even get to that. It was really, um, I looked through all the documentation to make sure I hadn't forgotten something or skipped something. It is not mentioned once in any of the documentation that comes with the drone what these toggle switches do. And it's pretty important um, because you could inadvertently be in attitude position and it, it says on the top of the screen you know you're not in GPS mode or whatever but you may completely overlook that especially as a beginner I personally think um, the default setting with the toggle switch in the center should be um, the mode with the GPS and everything enabled that's typically where you would leave a toggle switch is in the middle if you didn't understand what everything does so I just wanted to explain that to everybody because this orientation may be specific to the SE it may be different from other DJI products or other DJI um, Phantom remote controls I wanted to make sure that you understood that so the other part of this is what does the toggle switch on the left hand side do the toggle switch on the left hand side does three things 
it can reset the controller to the drone. Um, so if for some reason something happens and the controller isn't speaking to the drone, you can um, reestablish that communication. You can reset Wi-Fi. And uh, to me, most importantly, is it is a way on the remote to enable return home. And as you can see here, I've actually labeled it um, RTH so that I would remember that. The reason that I feel like this is so important is, especially as a beginner, um, there are times when you get into a situation, you've got yourself in trouble, your drone's in trouble, and you panic. And I'm sure every drone person has, they have to have had this happen to them. And it can cause, you know, at the very least, um, damage to the drone, but it may also hurt somebody, damage property, get you in trouble, get the drone someplace that it shouldn't be. So um, when you're in that situation and you're panicking, yes, there's a return to home icon on the screen. But what happens if the app crashed? What happens if uh, the battery in your phone or tablet dies and you don't have access to it? And simultaneously to that, because this is when these kind of things happen, you know, when it rains, it pours, your drone is in trouble at some place it shouldn't be. There is a way to do return to home from the controller. And the way you do that is um, on that left toggle, you toggle it down and then back up. And that should enable return to home and the drone will start coming home. If you need to cancel return to home for some reason, you would basically take the right toggle and you would toggle it to any other position from where it's at and that should cancel return to home. So that's how that stuff works. I'm going to briefly talk about how uh, the other two modes with that left hand toggle work. To link the controller and the drone, move the rotary switch down, then toggle the left switch up and down three times. The lights on the drone should light up. You'll then depress the button on the right side of the drone closest to the battery compartment for at least two seconds. That should link the controller and the drone. To reset Wi-Fi in the drone, move the rotary switch up and toggle the left switch at least three times. And the password on the drone should be reset to the default 12341234. So that's it. I mean, uh, you know, I, I tried to make this kind of quick, but I, I this was something, one of those weird things where uh, the information just wasn't there out of the box with this. And I'm sure if I got stuck with this, there's going to be some other SC users out there who um, similarly weren't familiar with this, didn't know what this stuff did. And so I just wanted to throw this out there. Hopefully this helps somebody avoid some of the confusion that I had. Thank you very much.